this, this ne next decade, I think we're really sort of on the threshold of being able to bring together people who are studying nanoscale structure like I am, which is the, the foundation of all function, is structure. And so to bring the structure and the function together at a level where we can really understand what a specific synapse did, and then how its structure uh, was modified. So there's this need to really marry the brain initiative to understand how the activity in the brain is occurring with that um, deep desire to understand how the structure and function are you know, in this dynamic state, almost a waltz between um, the, 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 the solid structure that we have, the circuitry that's in place, and how that circuitry is getting modified to allow us to have new memories and to acquire new behaviors in various parts of the brain. So what's really needed now are new tools. Um, the kinds of work that I do is very, very time consuming. It takes years to reconstruct um, a very small portion of the brain at the synaptic level. And if we really want to map the entire brain, um, doing it the way I did it is going to take many thousands of lifetimes. And so we're at, we're at a threshold now where physicists and engineers and neuroscientists and people of all walks of life can actually bring different points of view and possibly we can actually kind of get off uh, the rather shallow trajectory of advancement and by bringing people together to share their knowledge of how to do different things and um, we, we, we think we really can begin to change the slope of that curve and have some very dramatic um, effects so we can collect the data much more efficiently and much more rapidly and be able to, again, start to marry this nanoscale level of structure to the microsecond um, time scale of function that's happening in the nervous system. Well, these are people who have...